Okay, this video I'm going to be asking a very simple question. For those of you who are fans of David Carradine, how did you become a fan? What made you like him as an actor? What made you fall in love with him as a female fan? You know, for me, I was about four years old. This is 1990. I had been watching the 1970s version of Kung Fu and I, I was mesmerized by him. And I kept gaining interest in him and when they did the revamp for the, for the series I became I don't want to say obsessed but really interested in him. My interest went up a lot and then suddenly, by the time I was about six or seven, I had lost interest. But during that time, when I watched the, the 1970s version of the Kung Fu series, I was smitten. By the time I was nine, I had developed my first celebrity crush, and he was the first celebrity that I had a crush on. I was crazy about the guy, you know, eight, nine-year-old kid you know, falling in love with the, the guy. And I used to think I was going to marry him when I got older, you know. And then I somehow lost interest. But it wasn't till 2005 that my interests and my crush for Carradine came back because I saw the Kill Bill movie series. And I was smitten with him all over again. It just, that those gushy, gushy feelings I had for him when I was little came back. And then all of a sudden, now, to, you know, find out what happened to him, it just, it crushed me. Because I wanted to see him come back. I wanted to see him be triumphant and show the world that he still had it. And there's no doubt in my mind that he still had acting chops. I didn't want to see him die the way he did. I didn't want to have to hear it. I didn't want to have to confront it. Now I'm rewatching the Kung Fu series, the revamped version, and I'm getting all, you know, not depressed, but like wishing I had my childhood back. Cause David Carradine was a part of that, and it changed my life. That character that he developed made me look at things and then re-examine things now that I'm older, because I'm 25, going to be 26 in September of this year, made me re-examine things and appreciate life and what this life has to offer, because we only live, you know, once and you have to learn to appreciate what you have because there's a lot of people in this world that don't appreciate what they have and it's very very sad very tragic so you know I, I I'm still heartbroken I wish he didn't go out the way he went out it was could have been prevented I mean if I don't know if our questions that any of us have are going to be answered. You know, I, did, I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't deal with death very well, and it's hard for me. And I'm trying to appreciate the stuff that he's left behind. You know, the people, certain people who got introduced to Carity in the Kill Bill series. That's what they're gonna, the new generation's gonna remember him for. But for me, being a fan for nearly 20 some odd years, I'm gonna remember him as Kane, not, you know, this assassin like guy. You know, I, I would rather remember him for that role that he became famous for. And I know. Later on in his his life, he, he didn't want to be 
known as just king. He wanted to, to branch out and do something different. It's just sad. I, I wish he didn't go out the war. I wanted to see more. And I knew he has, he, he had the acting chops. Sorry, my eyes bothering. But, um, it's just sad, you know? This life, the life he led was so beautiful. And the people he touched was just enormous, you know? So, if you want to, you don't have to do this if you don't want to do it. Tell me how you became a fan so I can understand a lot more because I felt like I've missed out on so much with him. You know, I only know him from the Kung Fu series that he did. And that's what I want to remember him for because you know, I was only... Sorry, I was only um, four when I saw the 1970s version. Along with the movie that I now proudly have in my collection. I have that. That's all I have of him. And I want to see more. I want to get to know the man that they call, you know, this great actor. This man that left this incredible legacy because I've missed out on so much. So share with me what it meant to you to be a David Carradine fan. What did he do for you? How did he change your life? What is it about him that you loved? Because I know I loved a lot of things about him, but me being a female fan, I'm going to say this, and there are going to be a lot of other females that are going to relate to this. But the way he would talk, you know, his, and his canon character, it just made me weak in my knees. And he didn't have to do it. So share with me what it was that he meant to you. What did he mean to you?